Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. If you use Final Cut Pro to edit your videos, there's a good chance you either own or plan on getting the compressor app. It's a great companion to Final Cut Pro, but most people, myself included, do not use it nearly often enough. In this video, we'll take a look at three ways you can use compressor with Final Cut Pro to speed up and optimize your exports. The first thing we'll take a look at today is using Compressor to make custom export presets for Final Cut Pro. If, for example, your final destination for your project is YouTube, you can optimize your exports to retain maximum quality while keeping your exported file in manageable size for quicker uploads. Let's jump into the Compressor app and take a look at how to make a custom export preset optimized for uploading to YouTube. Open up the Settings and Location browser by clicking this button in the top left corner. Next, click the plus button in the bottom left corner and select New Setting. Give it a name and in the Format drop down menu, choose MPEG 4. Open up the Inspector window and select the Video tab. The most important part of retaining quality when compressing your video is a data rate. Open the drop down menu and select Custom. Set this depending on your video's resolution and frame rate. For example, for 4K video, YouTube recommends 35 to 68 megabits per second, depending on your frame rate. My project is 30 frames per second, so I'll set this to 45. Select the Audio tab, set the audio format to AAC, and bring up the bitrate as high as you can go. These settings will give you the best video and audio quality for YouTube while keeping the file size manageable. To add this preset to Final Cut Pro, Hit the Share button in the top right corner and select Add Destination. Double click the Compressor Settings icon and navigate to the preset you just made. Select it and click OK. Click the Share button again and select your new preset to export your video using this preset. Another handy feature of using Final Cut Pro and Compressor is the ability to send your project to Compressor. This allows you to send a single clip a batch of clips, or even an entire project to Compressor, and while your Compressor transcodes your media, you can keep working in Final Cut Pro. Select the clips or projects you want to transcode in the media browser, and from the menu bar select File, Send to Compressor, and New Batch. In Compressor, drag one or more transcode presets onto your clip, and click the Start Batch button. Now, while the Compressor app transcodes and exports your clips, you can go back to Final Cut Pro and either keep editing your current project or even start a new one. This is very useful if you're editing multiple projects and don't want the Final Cut Pro export process to slow down your workflow. The last feature I want to talk about today is Compressor Droplets. These are standalone presets you can use to quickly compress your video files without the need to even open Compressor or Final Cut Pro. First, let me show you how to make them then after, I'll show you how to use Compressor Droplets. In the Compressor app, select one or more presets you want to use for your droplet. Right-click any of the selected presets and choose Save as Droplet. In the pop-up window, give it a name and select the save destination for your droplet. The Location drop-down menu lets you choose where the compressed files will be saved. If you leave this as a source destination, your compressed files will be saved in the same location as your original video files. Click the Save button. This saves your droplet as a standalone app in your selected location. To use a compressor droplet, all you have to do is grab your video file and drag and drop it on your droplet icon. In the pop-up window, you can choose a save location for your compressed files or just let it save in the location you selected previously. Click the Start Batch button. The Compressor Droplet transcodes your video in the background and makes transcoded versions of your video file. This is a great way to optimize your media, transcode your media so you can burn it to a DVD, make a much smaller version of your project to email to a client for review, and much more. Using a Compressor app with Final Cut Pro is a great way to save time when editing your video and have much more control over the compression of your files. If you found this video helpful, make sure to share it with someone else who might like it. And if you're new to my channel, I make new videos like this every week, so please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.